We're going to look at C1 English and C2 English words for activities. So here are some pictures of activities, um, but what are they? We're going to go through them one by one and I'm going to explain what they mean. The first activity is astronomy. So in the picture, you can see a telescope that looks into the sky to look at the stars and other planets. And this is called astronomy. And this is the study of the sky and the stars. Do you know anyone like this? Someone who goes with binoculars looking for birds. This is called bird watching. So if you are a bird watcher, you enjoy going into the countryside or fields, trying to spot birds and trying to spot different types of birds. Here is a more modern activity. You might know some young people who do this, or maybe you do it yourself and you're an adult. This is coding. Now, coding is when you go on a computer or an electronic device and you write in the language of the computer or the device to make some sort of program, some sort of uh, software that does something. And this is called coding. This is when you're not using proper language, you're using the machine language to make things happen on your computer or device. Now, these two activities are quite similar, but with a key difference. The first one on the left is crochet. So it comes from a French word, so we don't pronounce the final T. Listen again, crochet. And the second word is knitting. Now, they're both to do with making things out of thread. So you get your what we call needles and you can end up making uh, nice things out of wool or thread, blankets, clothes, anything like that. But there's a key difference. Look closely at the needle or the um, hook for the crochet. Um, you'll see it's got a little curve on the end. And that means there's a slightly different technique of creating these clothes or materials. The hook is different. It means you, you do it in a slightly different way. So if you're using this type of hook, it's crochet. If you're using a normal um, device that's straight with no hook at the end, that is knitting. Have you ever done this, where you put little pieces of card together to make a big picture? This is called doing a jigsaw puzzle. Here are some activities that children enjoy. The first of all, using rollerblades or rollerblading. Well, this is when you travel on shoes with wheels. Rollerblading is when the wheels are under the shoe and they're all in a line together. Another popular activity for a young child is scootering. This involves using something called a scooter, which looks like the image in the picture. You hold handlebars, you stand on something flat at the bottom, and it's usually got two, maybe three wheels at the bottom. This is a child's uh, vehicle. Uh, I've used the word vehicle because that describes something that moves on uh, wheels or in some way, and it's something that is pushed by the child. And here's a popular activity for older children. You might be more familiar with this one. This is skateboarding. You don't have the handlebars. You've just got the flat surface, wheels at the bottom. You look a bit like the person in this picture. If you go to a fairground, or a theme park, it looks a bit like this. There are rides, there are things to do for entertainments, but you can use these words. Now, fairground is normally a temporary place in a town. Groups of people go to a field and they set up these rides and stalls where you can buy sweets. Um, but it's in a public place and sometimes it's only there for a short time. Whereas a theme park 
is something that's always there. It's its own. It's got its own special area, and you pay to go in, and it's something that you can go year, year after year after year. It's more permanent than a fairground. Do you enjoy doing things with wood? Well, this is called woodwork. Woodwork means making things with wood, sometimes called carpentry as well. Calligraphy is a special type of writing. Look at the device that you're using to write here. It's got a different style to it, a different end, and it enables you to make nice shapes and pretty patterns as you write. So this is a special type of writing called calligraphy. And finally, in some countries, maybe not yours, it depends how many trains you have in your country, there's an activity called train spotting. If you are a train spotter, you enjoy looking for different trains. You'll travel around the country thinking, I need to see this particular train. And you'll try to spot as many different trains as you can. It's a popular activity for some. What can you remember about these activities then? We're going to recap six of them. First of all, do you remember the name for that activity where you look up into the sky with a telescope at night? It begins with A and the word is astronomy. Astronomy. We also looked at this word, coding which is when you use the language of the computer or the device to program the device and make things happen on that device. Now, do you remember those two words for making things with a needle and thread, making clothes, blankets, maybe a hat, things like that? Do you remember them? One began with C, one began with K. Here they are. Crochet which, remember, has that hook at the end and the silent T. And knitting, and knitting because it's K-N, has that silent K. What about that word for nice writing? It begins with C. It is calligraphy. Remember calligraphy, that special pen that makes nice patterns when you write. And finally, what about the young person who likes to play on a board with wheels, with no handles? It is, of course, skateboarding. <laughs>